Oh, hey. It's Wes. Throw away your gear. Why? The future is mobile. No. Just do it. Okay, okay. What? What is that? It's a phone. Get a new phone. You didn't say anything about that. No. Fine, fine. And what's that? It's an iPhone 7 Plus. You, you couldn't, couldn't get a nicer one? You think I'm made of money? Fine, let's do this. I see. But what am I supposed to do about Flash? Hmm, interesting. Well... Okay, so it wasn't the voice of God that sent me this, but it was Lightpix Labs. Enough fooling around. Hit it with the B-roll! The Lytro Grip from Lightpix Labs is a Bluetooth-controlled grip for your smartphone. What do I need that for? Well, it helps you to stabilize your phone in your hand, and it also pairs it to these flash units. LED flash units, I should say. The device itself is powered by lithium-ion rechargeable batteries, and it's chargeable via USB B micro. Not C, just B. Womp womp. Now that we've had a look at that, it's really nice outside. Let's go out there. That's much better. Sorry for the green cast. We're under a bunch of green leaves. It's natural. So here we are with the light picks, Lytro. So there are two elements of the Lytro. So here we have the Lytro Grip and the Lytro B1 on camera LED. I know it's spelled Lytro, but whatever. Let's forget about that. And the two work side by side. You can use just this one or you can use them together if it's too dark outside. One thing that I really like about the grip is that although it takes forever to adjust the size, the size can adjust to fit around some pretty substantial phones using pretty substantial cases. I've had problems in the past with gimbals and such that are really only designed for a certain size of phone or phones with no cases. This one goes up and down to suit everything from tiny phones to big phones. So once you put your Lytro grip on your phone like this, you'll then pair it in the Bluetooth menu, which also happens pretty easily, surprisingly so, and you can launch the Lytro app. When they first sent me this product, the shutter delay while using the app while using the grip was astonishingly bad. On my iPhone 7, it would take three to four seconds to take a picture, which is an eternity when you're taking a picture. But on my wife's iPhone XS, the delay would be one or two seconds, still way too long. But since then they have pushed an update and the delay is, I would say, maybe a quarter of a second at most, which seems like a lot in camera land, talking about professional cameras, but in smartphone land, that's hardly any more than a smartphone delay is already. One thing I love about the Lytro app is there are some very easy to use exposure adjustments. So basically you can shoot in full manual here and you have the dials that allow you to change your zoom and your ISO. Now these dials, oh boy these dials. They are super plasticky, the feedback is kinda janky and the response time isn't the greatest. I think it's gotten faster since the software update though, so that's nice. I really like adjusting the shutter speed on the side of the camera here. Very smooth, very responsive. And as always, tap to focus and take a picture. Once we pair it with our flash here, you have two modes, either continuous light, or you can switch it to flash mode. Let's crank this guy up and get our flash ready on the phone here. All right, now we're in flash mode. So that was a flash. One more time. So yeah, when you're focusing your phone, it lights up a little bit as a focus assist, which I guess in pitch black is useful, but in modern phones, like my wife's 10S, 
It focuses in the dark, no problem. On my phone, again, not that much problem. I wish that it didn't do the focus assist because that really slows things down a lot. If this thing could just come on and flash and I know, I know, I might be asking too much from this, but altogether, using these extra flash modules, and the package they sent me had a whole bunch of them, so let's see some pictures that I took. It was very dark in the room, strung them bunched together. It gives a decent amount of light, but it's so slow that if you're shooting any moving or living subjects, you're just gonna lose them long before you actually get a decent picture of them. So, altogether, the flash component, although useful for still life, it uh, doesn't really do it for me. But let's go back to just this Lytro grip. Although the buttons are a little bit tricky, a little bit cheap, and the interface, albeit, is a little bit slow, I actually quite enjoy using this. But the question is, do I really want this in my pocket? Is it actually solving problems for me that I have? I would imagine, and here's my pitch for the Lytro grip, and it's not really one that they had in mind, but since I thought about it, this is actually an amazing tool for someone who wants to learn about photography. Instead of just buying a huge camera and spending way too much money on a Rebel or an A6000 or something, and not even knowing if you're into photography in the first place, if you get one of these things for the price listed below, because I didn't look it up before walking outside, all of a sudden you have something that feels like a camera. You have manual controls, much like a real camera. You have the ability to fool around with the exposure triangle. You can even play around with off-camera flash. All for a decently low price and for very little commitment. While at the same time just using the equipment that you're already familiar with. If you don't want to shoot in manual mode, you've got full auto mode, shutter priority, ISO priority, movie mode, sports. And this is pretty cool. From me, as a professional photographer, all of this is kind of silly to me in a way, because, yeah, I've moved way beyond this. But for someone first learning to, about photography, this would be a fantastic tool, easy to keep around, and if you have friends like some of mine, it might keep them from dropping their phone all the time. Wouldn't that be nice? So anyway, if you have any questions about the uh, Lytro Grip, or want to know more about my experience using it, Feel free to drop me a comment, I'm always down there replying to things. Is this going to be a part of my bag? Probably not. But you know what? I am definitely going to be lending this to a few friends who are looking into taking up photography to see what they think about it. Maybe I'll come back to you with one of their impressions later on. But until next time, go take some photos.